Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of My Magic World of Zine. And uh, between episodes, uh, I did look up where the next trainers are, and they are, as I expected, in Olympus. And uh, I don't have access to that just yet. I've got to, I think I've got to talk to the Dragon Pharaoh, which is what I'm doing here. So, what I will do is I will continue climbing up this pyramid. And hope to get up to the top. Or at least to the uh, Dragon Pharaoh. At least I think that's what you need to get into the into Olympus. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe? Maybe not? I had a hard time finding out. Here we go. This is level two at the very least. Yeah, you have to talk to the Dragon Pharaoh. Alright. Total of dates is all you do, then minus the number 32. Oh my god. Another math puzzle! No! Yeah, I don't care about your doors, Dragon Pharaoh. You put math puzzles in my way. I don't see any monsters. Oh, now there, there's something interesting. I think that's just like nothingness. What the hell? There's no, there's no creatures up here. There's no creatures up here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is, is, is this seriously what? Wait, wait, wait. Am, am I looking at this right? Oh my god. Oh, this is exact. Ah! Seriously, seriously, game. I just realized what I'm looking at here. 1993. Was that when the game was made? Ah! Uh, 1993. Next up. Fourteen ninety-two. Okay, I see where you're going, game. And this is seventeen seventy-six. Watch, boom. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate the sentiment, game. I really do. Honestly, I totally do. This is the kind of puzzle that would make people go re nowadays. Uh, and you know what? Fuck those people. Like with a spiked bat. I like that puzzle. I, I I will give this puzzle a pass. I will give this puzzle a pass. Now take... Oh, God, hold on a second. There's... Now this is kind of annoying. Okay, so... Step one. Total all the dates, all you do, then minus the number 32. So 1993 plus 1492 plus 1776 minus 32 is 5229. And then we'll go ahead and pop up here. Nice to know I wasted all those gems on those uh, two spells, though. Now take the answer, divide by three. Your mission is the Pharaoh to free. Yeah, that last line was just there to make a... Uh, a rhyme. But you know what? It's cool. So those that uh, divide by three is 1743. Then subtract another 42. This final number can get you through. Minus 42. That's 1701. NCC 1701 is the damn... Uh, type in a passcode you now should know to quickly get this level book. Uh, NCC 1701, that's uh, Enterprise, isn't it? Uh, that absolutely is. Thank you, 
John Cavanaugh. This is back when RPGs were like purely like the 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 uh, the realm of like real. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say nerds, but like pedants, I guess, or uh, people that have a focus on uh, the details of the things. Come on, you gonna let me through? What I do like about pyramids is that each level up gets progressively smaller. Oh god, I was just teleported. No, where was I teleported? Alright, I'm gonna cast jump. I'm gonna jump! I'm going to cast it on each of these ends because I don't trust them anymore. Oh! Oh, it did it early! I see! Oh my god. No, it didn't do it early. I just can't count. Ah... Uh... I don't even know... Yeah, there's no jump there. Okay, so it is the second to last. There we go. Oh! Oh! Man, this, like, hurt me. Alright, now it's second from last. And again, it's second from last. And let me guess. No! No, Gabe, why would you do this to me? Oh my god, I'm just... I'm... Ah! This level can go screw itself. Second from the end. And again, second from the end. Oh no, I, I cast it one too early. No, I did it. If there's one in this last, like, two-digit corridor, I'm gonna, like, scream. Okay. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you for not being a complete... Total a hole. Dragon Pharaoh! Welcome, adventurers! The command orb you've been carrying has done its job and brought you to me at last. Thank you for returning it, though I dare not leave my pyramid. I have heard of your quest and I'm grateful for the trust you place in me. But let us not waste precious time discovering trivial, discussing trivial subjects and address the business at hand. Alamar seeks to use Zine as transportation back to his world, Terra. Though the travel will not destroy Zine, every living thing will perish in the cold that lies between the stars. As guardian of Zine, I cannot permit this to happen. Unfortunately, Alamar has the cube of power and, through the cube, command of Zine. Already the sun diminishes its strength as Alamar directs Zine to the stars. With the cube in hand, Alamar would slowly sap my strength and destroy me should I dare to leave this pyramid, and I am the only power on Zine capable of defeating Alamar in a fight. Dismal as things seem, there remains a ray of hope, plus five million experience. The night Alamar arrived in Zine, two shooting stars impacted the world. The first was Alamar, and we know what became of him. But the second landed in the molten rock of the volcanic mountains near the northeast corner of the world, and has been struck there ever since, and Alamar has made no attempts to rescue its pilot. Perhaps he fears what it contains. I want you to investigate. To aid you, I will use the command orb to cool the molten rock around the vehicle. Return to me when you are done with your investigation. I know where that is! Awesome! All right. And I have to return to him quickly. I will search your bed, though, before I go. I'm gonna quick save the game real quick. And I'm gonna open this. As you approach the brew of pure power, the dragon front says, Get away from that, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. 
I have pushed a button and opened up a stairway to the top without having to even bash any more of his doors down. Well, how thoughtful. I, I don't know how to get into that. Ah, access denied. Okay. So let's leave, I guess. Uh, let's just let's just exit. I don't, I didn't mean to rest. Let's cast uh, Lloyd's Beacon and return. So we've got an idea where to go now. We've got plenty of food. I gotta go back to that spaceship. Find what Korak? His name is. Alright, it's right here. I thought you said it was gonna cool it. He I mean he cooled it, but I still got burned. Uh, do I need to prepare for battle? I'm gonna save the game again real quick. Alright, you gotta take a look at this spaceship. It's another one of these. I will activate the main power console, yes. Oh god, um, let's quick save the game. You text your oh, 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 okay. This ages you. But it's totally worth it. I will go ahead and reset, reset everybody's age afterwards. Do I have enough time to? They're all in their 80s now. I have to go set their age back. Yeah, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go do that turn-in kind of quest uh, for the seasons. Phaser control set. Uh, no, I'm not going to fire the phaser snow. As funny as that would be, no. It's just a mirror of the other one. And it's nice that there are these skull thrones in a damn spaceship. Scanning console, the message on the screen reads Zine, Z Xylanit Experimental Expansion Nacelle, Starseed Project. Mean orbit 1.1 AU, gravi uh, surface gravity 0.88, mean surface temperature 72, which means it's slightly farther from the, s from the star and slightly uh, lighter in gravity than Earth. Uh, a message on the screen reads Log Entry 1, all internal systems operational, all ship systems operational. Setting course for Terra Project, mission objective, deactivate and retrieve damaged Shelton unit to return to base. Log entry 2, orbit established around Terra, utilizing Schwartz Heinrich matter transfer device to accomplish planet fall, subject uh, deactivated and retrieved, returning to base. Mission objective delayed indefinitely, Shelton unit escape, location Varn 4, Kron vehicle, 3.8 years have passed since last log entry, time spent in stasis in ship's brig. Activating full Korak personality module to facilitate heuristic problem solving. We'll begin searching search for Shelton unit immediately. My search for Shelton has been had borne little fruit to date. Fruit to date. His reasons for imprisoning me in the ship's brig are unclear because he wanted to like I don't know become evil. His next action unpredictable. I wander the barn in hopes of uh, finding some clues to his whereabouts, but nothing has yet turned up yet. Kron's wire shows no record of travel between barns or to Kron itself. I remain unable to locate Shelton. The wire shows signs of his tampering, but he has been careful to cover his tracks and hide his location. The cunning he displays must be a result of his heuristic improvements to his mind. I am facing an advanced artificial intelligence, uninhibited by mental blocks or behavior restraints, and driven by a will to survive. Shelton may also be following some internal directive he believes he has. Varn 6 launched itself into the sun today on Shelton's command, a hundred thousand lives snuffed out in a matter of minutes. The magnitude of his crime is overwhelming, and the fact that I was unable to stop him lends my mission a sense of desperation and urgency that it lacked before. 
Where Shelton was merely a nuisance before, the disaster is now a terrible menace that must be stopped at any cost. I must find him. News has reached me that Shelton is po posing as King Alamar, but has fled his usurped throne. I should have suspected. Alamar's subjects were saying that he has acted strangely for about four years, but it never occurred to me to question why. The Wire reports that he has lost his connection to the Varn, but has fled to Kron. I will seek him there. Shelton is nowhere to be found. The Wire reports several attempts by Shelton to subvert the system and regain access, but he has been unsuccessful up till now. Uh, Shelton has escaped Kron and returned to Terra. He has ambushed and defeated me in combat, separating my memory core from my body and placing it in stasis in a cave. Fortunately, some natives of the Kron vehicle rescued me from my plight and saved Kron from Shelton's plan to pilot into the sun. The vines that were to be released on Terra have done so on schedule, revealing that Shelton still favors one of his direct follows one of his directives. I will use the matter transfer device to achieve planet fall once again on Terra. With Shelton gone at last, Kron will be permitted to continue its star seeding mission uninterrupted from here on. I arrived on Terra once again, and the landscape is a bit different from my last visit. Four Varns descended on the planet while I was in stasis, and Shelton was busy assimilating the people, plants, and animals into his existing biosphere. His process seems flawed, however. I can't help but detect a faint callousness towards his people. The adaptive process is unnecessarily harsh, and timetable needlessly swift. Another character flawed add to the list of problems that must be filled with the Shelton, fixed with the Shelton unit, if it can be fixed at all. After much time and effort, I have determined that Shelton resides in the original seed ship that first settled on Terra. The ship is entirely underwater, but several matter transfer sites exist on the surface of the planet disguised as, disguised as pyramids. These pyramids have denied me access, of course, but that problem can be solved through the wire. I feel confident that I will have Shelton in custody. And I think this actually may follow the prior Might and Magic games. Now, I have played a couple of them, but I haven't played very played them very far in. So I suspect this like has to do with those. With the help of the wire, I've infiltrated the starship. Shelton has activated all the ship's defenses, sparing no effort to eliminate me. Despite my best efforts, I have been unable to cut Shelton from the wire or order him off. I will have to physically defeat him. Uh, I was unable to capture Shelton, and he escaped once again. He is an escape pod heading for the Zine project. I am in one as well, seconds behind him, yet unable to accelerate to catch him. The pod has no weapons. Apparently, natives of Terra were right behind me and have activated the sheet ship's engines and launched. They are in close pursuit. Zine approaches. I have to. I will have to engage the ship's stasis fields in order to survive the impact, since I will be right behind Shelton. I stand a good chance of capturing him after impact. Nav computers predict that the Terrans will not impact the project, but will instead burn up in the atmosphere. I have instructed them on the use of the matter transfer device over their seed ship so that they may escape its destruction. I am going to stasis now, may the gods smile upon me. And I suspect that was a long, long time ago. Uh, to activate the space field, despite the falling message. Oh! To boldly go where no man has gone before. That has to be it. Correct, yes. Yes, I got that reference. Correct the Mysterious. Thank you for deactivating the stasis chamber. If you hadn't done it, I would have been trapped here there forever. Much has happened since I crashed on Dark Side. It appears that my old nemesis Shelton has escaped from his stasis chamber long before I and has done much evil in his, this time. My instruments show that Zine has begun to drift out of his orbit, indicating that Shelton has full control of Zine. I have orders to stop Shelton's galactic rampage, but I am unable to fulfill them. If I were to leave the safety of the ship, Shelton would surely detect me with his newfound powers and slowly drain the strength from my body. I would never reach him. If he had some means of transporting the past, me past his defenses, I would have a good chance of defeating him in battle. Without that, I cannot prevail against him, plus five million experience. I cannot leave the safety of the ship without some means of hiding from Shelton's defenses. So I've got to find a way to do that. And that means i got to go back to the, uh, the dragon. But first, um... You know what I need to do is I need to uh, go back. Is there a... I thought there was a, a... I thought there was a pyramid out here, wasn't there? No, it was in, in town. I need to go over Not to the other side. Ass. Okay, go ahead. And do the whole, uh... Do the whole quest to get myself young again. Alright, so... Quick detour. Uh, to the Summer Druid. So where's the Summer Druid? Summer Druid!
Alright, quadrant B2. Gotta take notes in this game. Alright, coming, coming along, coming along. No, I don't want to enter the war zone. Where's the druid? Oh, uh, there. Way over there, okay. Alright, now the autumn druid. In quadrant C2. That would be over here. All right, now the winter druid. That's A3. That would be down here. And I love that this quest is repeatable because there's so much that's really worthwhile, but that ages you. And then finally, this was a spring, and that would be E3. And that would be over here if I remember right, right? That would be further on. There we go. No, I don't want to go in there. That was my bad. I didn't. No, I thought that was something else. So let me go. Oh, there we go. That's down there. No, it's not. Oh my god, where are you? Oh, it's here. That This is the shrine I could have used to try and beat the... Uh, dragons. Now, did that cure my aging? Yes, it did. Everybody's age has been reset. Nice. Alright, let's go back through to Castleview. And that calls for a save. Time to talk to the Dragon Pharaoh again. Come on. Oh, I should have set uh, a Lloyd's Beacon up there. Man. I keep forgetting that's even a spell. All right, well, let's go up there. And I gotta get the jump spell up. I do like how the map will now show me which square I haven't actually been in. So I can tell where these traps are. Makes it a little easier. This is just the news I was hoping for. Another guardian to fight Alamar. Or should I say Shelton? Korak is safe as long as Shelton doesn't know he is awakened. Now all Korak needs is a soul box to hide in. The only one I know of is in the city of Olympus. I will alert my servants there that you are to be allowed access to the city and all other areas and devices they still control. You will be no you will know to, known to them as the chosen ones. Go now to Olympus and find the soul box. Once you have it, take it back to Korak. He will instruct you from there. Is that another five million experience? No. It's another something, though. All right. Oh, oh okay, okay. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna rest. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna save the game.
And I'm gonna get my days up. There we go. That is a lot of dragons. <laughs> that is a hell of a lot of dragons. Um. <laughs> All right, let's cast Dragon Sleep. Oh no, she's, she's like, dead. Uh, yes, you can offer me a free ride to Olympus. Get me out of here. Got a pass? Okay, go ahead. Okay, wow. Oh no, this is like all... Oh no. Oh no, this is like all like clouds and such. I'm gonna need to get into one of these buildings to rest. Hello, adventurers. Let's get some food. Thanks. Good luck. Let's rest and cast uh, Raise Dead, because I don't know if there's a priest or whatever here. Let's cast uh, Levitate. Alright, and let's save the game. Alright, let's talk to people. Fill your packs with the nectar of the gods while you're here. These supplies will last much longer within the earthly ones you were used to. Yes. No, I don't want to be in the sewers just yet. How, do, how does a city in the clouds have a sewers? And where does it empty to? Like, now I'm just imagining all these poor sods below, and the city, like, glides overhead, and then just raw sewage just rains down. That's nasty. Lagona the Ghost. It's good to see you again, friends. I have arrived at my proper resting place thanks to you. I, since I have been here, I have heard a lot about you and I wish you well in your quest. I can tell you one thing. You cannot enter Alamar's castle from the top without defeating the Mega Dragon. Since that is almost impossible, you should just walk in from the front. Okay. Ever lie down on your belly and look over the edge of the cloud? The people are so small they look like ants and the mountains and trees look like children's toys. Okay, that's nice. No. Welcome to Olympus. The Olympus Guild is always looking for more members. Membership of the Guild is, of course, free. I will... Sign up everybody who can learn. And there's just like a pit down to nowhere. A plaque at the basin statue reads, If Pharaoh's realm should take a fall, the dragon must put forth a call. A mystic orb to the wind is cast, seeks the hand of heroes last. Four parts castle at five per stage. A score of discs to help the mage. Okay. There's entry into the sewers again. M Miles, the cartographer, uh, speaking of Sandcaster and his cartography puzzle. Oh, okay. I think I already figured that out, though. Oh, wait a minute. This is like how you solve all the quests. You all right. Yeah. Wanna train? Yeah, we got we got a, a quarter million gold. Let's train. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty 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 pretty. Oh my god, that's going to take pretty, like all pretty, our gold. Pretty good. Get lost. Get lost. Yeah. Yeah, that that is gonna take a lot more gold than what I have on hand. Okay, uh Alright. Um you know what? That did kinda suck, but I think I can get back up there. I don't I, I don't wanna go back through the pyramid. Let's go up here. There was that entry over here, remember? Cause I gotta kill some more stuff up there to get some more experience. And I gotta hit the bank up so I can get some uh Get some more money up. Got a pass? Okay, go ahead. 
Yeah, I don't even want to know how much money I'm going to need to get everybody to max level from what I'm at now. It'll be safe with me. All right, I want to withdraw like another five, another half million. I'm going to leave a million in the bank. Yeah, let's let's get over here. All right, save the game. Uh, get our day of protection. Get our day of sorcery and climb up. And deal with these things. Now that I can. Yeah. Because this is like experience farming. I can do this. Do this. Zine Sky Road. Alright, that leads to top of somebody's house. This is Ellinger's Tower. That's uh, the Queen's place. And this is Olympus Launch. Or one of them. Ah, it's from the other side. Okay. And uh, a Levitational Morale. Oh, because it expires at midnight. <sighs> well, you know, I did get, I did get uh, some experience for doing that. Let's get light up. I don't need the full day of protection and such. Ah, I gotta go back up. This kind of sucks. Man, Olympus and the fact that the, the buffs wear off at midnight it is like real garbage. Like, I got, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of garbage. It's like the worst sort of garbage. That means you basically got to watch the time and be in a store at midnight. Come on. Alright. Almost there. It's not going to take too long. Okay, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back into the pyramid. We're gonna deal with some of that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. But you know what? We're gonna deal with some of that stuff in the, in the next episode, because I'm gonna call it here. This has been the RPG Crawler with Might and Magic, World of Zine, Dark Side of Zine. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.